consider the example of recording the drug concentration x over time. Now, give, given this set of data, the first thing that we need to do is to have a sense of how uh, the drug concentration can behave over time. So in order to do that, the best uh, thing to do is to um, uh, get a sketch of the graph of the data points as can be seen here. Right? This is the uh, set of data points plotted as a graph. Now, uh, just looking at the trend alone, uh, we find that it sort of decreases and perhaps a good uh, kind of uh, function to represent uh, this trend would be a decreasing exponential function perhaps of the form x equals to some a naught, let's say that's the kind of initial condition times e to the power of negative kt where in this case of course both a naught and k are positive constant some kind of parameters now uh, we can of course uh, try to estimate a naught and k whether it's from the data or by or by other regression methods uh, but perhaps um, for a simpler case we may want to uh, make some assumptions so that we cut down the number of parameters to be estimated so in this case for example we could uh, make an assumption that uh, at say time t equals to zero that means at the beginning of the recording of this set of data um, the x is say 100 and you look at the, the, the um, looking at the data it seems that it's not an unreasonable kind of assumption so uh, given this assumption then we can easily uh, um, find a naught and a naught of course turns out to be 100 because when t is equal to 0 e to the negative kt will be equal to 1 no matter what the values of uh, k may be so uh, a naught is equal to 100 which then simplifies our uh, model or in this case the equation here to x which is a function of t to 100 times e to the negative kt and now we are left with um, the task of finding k or estimating the parameter k from the data. And we will use a tool uh, to help us do that.